Come on up. Hey, Joe, sir. What's up, man? How you doing? Not bad. All right, quick question. So I just need two things. I just need a complaint, an officer complaint form. Officer complaint form? Okay. Yes, sir. And what was the second thing? Uh, well, actually, the second thing was just questions for you after. Sure. Um, is there, generally we like try to get you to the right supervisor. Is there a specific officer? Uh, what do you mean? Like, is there a specific officer you're, make, you're making a complaint on? Oh, well, I could, all that information will be on the form once I fill it out. On the form. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I just need to know what boss to get it to. Okay. Let me print it out for you. Thank you, sir. How you doing today, man? I'm good. How about yourself? Not bad, not bad. We're getting there. I like uh, I like how that's it's different. What's uh what does that represent? Pink. How it's pink, yeah. Is that like it's breast for, cancer? Uh, yeah, breast okay. cancer awareness okay, cool. month. All right, cool. What's going on? Uh, what's upstairs? It's just uh, it's where all our offices are. Is that area also open to the public? Uh, the upper deck is open. Yeah. So we would be fine to go up there also. Uh, they get they they if you're gonna go hang out up there, they kind of generally don't like that. But I'm like, hang out. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm out there. yeah, I mean, I see who uh, what's up there. Uh, there's like a probation office. Um, so they just had like questions I wanted to ask people I would be able to do that like if somebody wasn't busy. Oh, gotcha. Um, there's no offices up there. So like there's the probation office, but there's no secretary or anything up there. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other doors just go up to the uh, behind closed access doors to the rest of the PD. So. Gotcha. There's nobody to talk to up there. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, right, let me print this. Might just, might just take like a walk up there just to see what it looks like. Just I want to show everybody the yeah, department. Yeah, you want to go up there and take a look? Yeah, by all means, man. Cool, thank you. Let me go grab this off the printer for you. Yes, sir. You could buy these patches. You could buy that pink patch we just had. You could buy one of those, ten bucks each. So Al Cajon has no issue with filming. Good to know. And I made sure to get him on camera saying that I could go up there. After this, we're gonna go. Up, after this, we're gonna go upstairs and see what's going. See what's up there. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, I thought you kept. Oh, no worries, man. So here's our complaint form. Um, if you know the case, perfect. You just put it there. Mm -hmm. um, this is where your information goes. Um, I'm able to. Uh, I know it has my like name and address and all that, but I'm able to leave that anonymous. Yeah, sure. So the biggest thing is, so when this gets turned in, I got to give it to a certain boss. Mm -hmm. It helps to know if there's a specific officer, because then I can get it to the right boss. But if it's just general, I can also turn that in. Uh, oh wait, when you say when you say specific, I'm talking about the name, home address. Is that for an officer, or is that for me, my information? It's just just so know the boss knows who to call back and. Okay, so I can just leave my number, but leave the name, address, and all that empty. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, totally. So they just got it. They're like, okay, cool. We got this complaint form. What do we do with it now? Yeah, yeah, I understand no that. That would make sense. That would okay. make sense. Right. Um, and then if it's on a specific employee, uh, gives you allegation number one, two, and three. If there's multiple allegations, it's kind of a checkbox thing. If there's further information you want to provide, like make a statement or something, have all the space on the back. They generally just say, hey, give us some bullet points. What is the complaint about? Mm -hmm. Because then they can follow up with you. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. And then if you have any witnesses to what you're making a complaint about, you can put their info down and then just sign and date at the bottom um, if you want to. Mm -hmm. 
is done. It's totally up to you. Cool. Um, any questions? No, you pretty much explained it perfectly. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate there you go. that. Right, now Do you my, have any other questions? My questions at this point are just personal questions. Sure. <laughs> Shoot, man. It says information, right? So, okay. So, in this in this country, we're supposed to have freedom of the Second Amendment, correct? Sure. So, my question... <sighs> Why is it so hard in California to get a CC, CCW? <laughs> why? Like, why do I have to go to the sheriff and then pay money and all this? How is that anything to do with the Second Amendment? Like, how does that line up with that? Well, I'm no lawyer or anything, but I mean, what I do understand about it is each state and each municipality has, you know, have, they have their powers to make and act laws and stuff. So CCW is one of those state laws. And then it gets filed down to like so here in San Diego County, you get your CCW here mm -hmm. by contacting the sheriff, right? Yes. So, and it's up to sheriff's discretion whether you have a good reason yes. and background check whether you can get one or not, right? So the background check, of course, is understandable. Right. But what's this whole good good reason thing? I don't understand that part of it. What's Again, that's and I'm, I'm not the sheriff, but that's where it goes. You make the request to the sheriffs, and it's their discretion. As to why why those laws are in place, mm -hmm. that's a great question for whoever legislated them. Yeah, because then you have state because it's like from state to state you have states where they have constitutional carry. You just if you buy it, you can just walk around with it. Right. Or like you can go to what is it the the Utah concealed carry? It's like good in like eight states or something like that. Oh, okay, they have so they have. Uh, There's different CCWs out there. Okay. Like. Do Google search. There's multiple states have different CCWs. Multiple states have different lax laws on it. Different states honor different CCWs, whereas different states say no CCW is good here. Yeah, how is it here? Right, specifically our county. Yeah, Cal or, yeah I guess California as a whole. Yeah. Well, I guess, the, yeah, this county. This is yeah, right. see, and the laws are a lot more restrictive here, right? So here it would be like, no, it doesn't matter if you have a CCW from anywhere else, it doesn't apply here? No? Okay. I know that I know that Trump was trying to get concealed carry reciprocity through, which would I guess make it federally legal. So if you get it in any state, it works in any state. But I've heard that being discussed too. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how likely that is. But yeah, that's really my main thing. I just wanted to see, like, from your perspective as a police officer, to see if you had any, any extra information you could give me on that topic. Yeah. But um, I, I'm no expert on the topic, but I mean, I know what CCWs I have to honor and which you know which I can't. What what the state honors and doesn't honor. So. All right, cool, cool. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate your it, help. It's frustrating for sure, though. Yeah, it is. It is. But yeah, yeah I, I appreciate your help. I'm going to go out and get some more, see what's going on upstairs. And then what was your name? Officer Andrew Van Workham. Uh, Officer Andrew Van Workham, thank you. I appreciate that. You've been very um, helpful. <laughs>